Happy Fry Friday to all you aficionados out there. On this Fry Friday, I'll, I will be showing you how I am breaking down my classroom, uh, starting with the fry, actually ending with the fry, because uh, these are the last to go home. Taking all of these fry, you see here, there's a, I don't know, can't tell which one I'm looking at, because I'm not pointing at it yet, but, um, take them home and sort them out, and, um, I still have my beta fish anchor, Josh Josherson, still here, probably bringing him home too, but, anyways, the fry, I'll be scooping them out, which is going to be a fun process, I'm sure, putting them in a gallon bag, and then it'll be held up by a, uh, milk jug that will help keep it more uh, supported so it doesn't go flopping all over the place. I find that helps to uh, reduce the fish stress so that way there aren't any corners in the bags either. Kind of help with that. But um, yes, yeah, so the fry will be going home. Just get that to focus better, maybe on the fry. Now the bubbles are throwing it off. But um, as you see, I already broke down this tank. I was trying to get the, um, see if there's any left in here actually, I'm trying to get the studs or the uh, amphipods, I'm not seeing any, nope, so what I was trying to do here is I was trying to create like a, like a trap or a barrier nope, that the scuds would, as the water drained down, the scuds, and by the way that snail's dead so don't worry about it, um, as the water would drain down, the scuds would go for follow the water, in theory, but that didn't work as well. I also tried to bait them with some food right there, as you see, but um, also that didn't work as well as I had planned. But um, I'm not really seeing any right now, so I guess I got most of them at least. I know I didn't get all of them, that's probably never going to happen. I do have a few more pond snails or bladders. I can't ever, I don't know which ones these are. Yeah, I don't see very more, very many more scuds in here, but that's what happened here. Don't worry, the heater is unplugged. Just double check it's unplugged, because I did unplug it. Yeah, there's a plug right there, it's unplugged. Um, and then, um, I guess I can just go ahead and unplug all the heaters. There's no sense in them being plugged in. The only thing I'll leave plugged in is the, um, and here's the uh, bachelor pad tank. Looks kind of sad. Looks like a shut down, broken down um, amusement park. But yeah, here it is. I just I <laughs> started siphoning out the water yesterday, and then I just left. Um, luckily, it was just going down the sink right there. All drained out just fine. But there's the bachelor pad in all of its lack of glory now. Um, so. I guess I can go ahead and wipe off this algae right here while it's still somewhat moist. And then the rest of the water will just um, evaporate out. And I'll use this now to siphon out the fry tank once I'm done and my beta tank. So um, stay tuned because in the next part I plan to, I guess I'll show, hopefully show the fry in their um, transport container to go home for their summer house, their summer place. Um, I'm not sure if I brought enough bags for the plants. I think I'll just put the um, java moss in the bag with the fry. They're not gonna mind that, I wouldn't think. I'll just keep it towards the bottom. I got a water bottle I can put it in, it's not a big deal. So that's what I'll do, stay tuned. Welcome back. So this is what a gallon full of fry looks like, a bag full of fry. So I decided to actually put the fry into one of my um, outdoor guppy grow out tubs out here. And then I'll sort through them later on this summer uh, because the 10 gallon tank in my daughter's room right now has the glowfish, which I'm positive will eat a lot of the smaller fry. So um, I'd rather keep them safer out here and eating the green water and the mosquito larvae than have them be um, glowfish snacks and and die. So I think this is a much better option. Um, I'll sort through them, the males and the females later on as I 
as I see them growing up. So, be adding them. We'll show you where they are. All right, so that is how the what I look like in a bucket. Looking pretty happy in there. I'll just that some Java moss will sink and spread out some more. It was compacted by the baggie I had it in. So, pretty happy about this choice. I think they'll grow quite nicely here. I'm going to cover them up to keep them safe from critters. Or safer and what to do. Let's see here. Fry are in this bucket right here. See how they're growing. Yep, growing quite nicely. One, two, three, four, five. It's got to be more hiding. Yep, six. Counting six of them down in there. Or some of the rain. We had a pretty good storm the day before yesterday that brought in a lot of um, fresh, cooler rainwater. So that was definitely a welcomed uh, relief. I don't see any fry in here, so no update there. These are the females. Getting some really nice colors on them. Let's see if I can get that. <clears throat> Not really. Too much of a glare. There we go. A little bit better. But anyway, let's hope you enjoyed this. I don't, I don't think I'm done yet. We'll see. The crows would like for me to be done, but anyways, uh, I also added my beta. I'm gonna add some more water next. Uh, uh, he's just in there temporarily until I um, get the plastic container from my classroom. So next, I'll show you what my broken down classroom with fish tanks looks like and what all that entails. So, so this is what a fully broken down classroom, at least in my case this year, looks like. I have my Heaters wrapped up, uh, my DIY float ice bed, water bottles, which apparently don't do very much good, but I'll look more into that later. They are wrapped up, I have my air cord, uh, air line wrapped up, all that wrapped up, that to finish draining the rest of the way. And then finally, I have, um, this is already done as well. So that's it, ready for the summertime now. He's got the announcement we can go home so have a great summer it's the best day of the year um if you found this video enjoyable and informative please give it a like uh if you're not already done so please subscribe turn on notifications to stay updated with the progress on the fry uh make a comment below if you have any questions or comments or areas that i could improve upon other than my monotone voice and um have a great day. Keep it fishy, people.